Hello guys and welcome back to Mystery Truth. Yellowstone volcano rocked by 4.2 magnitude earthquake, leaving volcano monitors shocked. The Yellowstone volcano was shocked by the largest earthquake to have occurred in the area in five years, and 15 felt reports were filed for today's natural phenomenon. The magnitude of the earthquake near the still active volcano in Wyoming, USA, was 4.2 according to the University of Utah. The shock was recorded at 7.32 a.m. on Wednesday at 2.32 p.m. It was felt specifically on the east side of Yellowstone National Park. According to the official report from the University of Utah, the epicenter of the shock was located 23 miles northeast of the east entrance of Yellowstone National Park. The earthquake took place at a depth of 14 kilometers. Scientists said that this was the largest earth tremor to occur in Yellowstone National Park since 2017. On June 15, 2017, an earthquake of a magnitude 4.5 shook the volcano. The event was, according to scientists, part of a long-lived swarm of small earthquakes in the area between Hegben Lake and Norris Geyser Basin, northeast of West Yellowstone. Within less than two hours, 15 reports were filed through the USGS Earthquake Hazard Program platform about the event. The reports described the shaking as light to weak. Scientists from the university said earthquakes like this are common in the Yellowstone region. Since 1973, over 30 earthquakes of 4.0 magnitude or greater have been recorded in the area. Since 1962, a total of five earthquakes of magnitude 3.0 or greater have occurred within 16 miles of the epicenter of today's earthquake. The largest of these events was a magnitude 4.2 on March 25, 2008, 20 miles northeast of Fishing Bridge in Wyoming. Yellowstone is the site of the largest and most diverse collection of natural thermal fissures in the world and the first national park. The area is famous for its outstanding natural beauty, but the supervolcano is what mainly attracts millions of visitors and scientists who visit it. A simulation of a potential eruption of the Yellowstone volcano that took place last month showed that civilians who live nearby can do virtually nothing to prepare for it. The volcano has experienced just three eruptions in the last three million years, the last coming 630,000 years ago, which was 1,000 times bigger than the Mount, Mount St. Helens eruption in 1980, an event that caused more than $1 billion loss in damage. During the last eruption, the sheer volume of material caused the ground to collapse, creating a depression now known as the caldera, which is 55 kilometers by 80 kilometers wide. And that's what we have today on Yellowstone National Park, on the super volcano, the latest on the eruption activity and the general activity occurring in the caldera and in the national park as a whole. Do you think one day this eruption would occur? Are you prepared for it? Scientists have said there is no preparation that could be made to avert it. But whatever you have to say concerning this, you drop your comments in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to this beautiful channel. Thank you very much.